Thank you. Go for the whole those up. Yeah. <coughs> Knock it out. Hello. Um, I need my glasses on so I can see you all. <laughs> I'm Katie Joy, uh, founder of theglobalbutterfly.com and stream of superpower is bridging spirituality with strategy to help you have soul aligned success. The guys before spoke a lot about ancestral wounds, um, intergenerational wounds. I go deep into that. Mm. And where does that come from? Well, up in the top right there, you'll see me as the classic rescuer. <laughs> I was a paramedic, and right before I made the most scary decision of my entire life, the second one in six months, um, I had really made a decision that I need to live more intentionally. I had six months prior to retiring uh, from my career, which I loved, but I also lived in a place I called a hole, Port Hedland. Anyone familiar? <laughs> Okay, so I was desperate to get out of the hole and into my soul, out of a toxic marriage that was domestic violence, and it was behind the scenes trying to keep a people-pleasing face while I'm helping other people. During the two years before I left, I invested my time to create a gluten-free cookbook, which that gave me some skills. It took off in Australia, it was, like, it was fantastic. I also had invested a lot in property, so I'd created this goal to set myself free from my job, a rich dad, poor dad in my 20s, <laughs> and I wanted to um, create that freedom. So in 2008, my property income matched my career income, hence my leap, but I was scared as, as you might imagine. Yep. Yep. So I didn't know what to do next. I just felt floating. I just knew I had to go on my University of Life tour. So I went off around the world, started with a three month plan and it turned out to four years. Hmm. Those first two years, uh, you saw it already, um, the, it was mentors to be mentored by masters because I knew that my background in my family, no one asked for help. <laughs> and I knew that the programming wasn't that great in pretty much a lot of areas in my life. So I not only was doing mentoring, I was doing my bucket list. So I went from Africa to Antarctica, to India, to Disneyland, and everywhere in between, seven continents and 58 countries. And then I found Dale. <laughs> and look how young he is. <laughs> I did the same last night when I was going through my files. So I was actually in Dale's very first business blueprint. And what attracted me to Dale, uh, go back just, Oh, yeah. um, and I want to give you some love here, is yeah, I have a gymnastics background as well, and so the gymnastics caught me at Profile Accelerator. <laughs> um, systems, being a paramedic, you are systems, 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 systems. Um, my property, systems, 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 systems. And so I fell in love with you with systems. Um, and I had a big problem though. I didn't have a business. <laughs> And so I didn't really know what to do. And so I floated around, I loved the community, but I left. Yep, so I continued that, that, go back, yep, that, four, that extra two years to make up that four year journey. I even went a bucket list, Hollywood movie, I was in a movie. Um, I was spent a week with Sir Richard Branson on his island, uh, helping him with Virgin Unite and masterminding. I did caravanning, I thought I'd retire and get the caravan, and I was bored. And so, I took up kite surfing, and this was a significant point. Does anyone have one of those extra significant points that is the turning point in your life where everything tends to strip away because you're forced to sit? Well, I broke my leg in Hope Town, Western Australia. Had to flown back up and I was immobilized for four months. And during that four months, I sat with all my mucky stuff that I'd been trying to run away from, traveling around the world, hiding, running, being excited and dazzled by everything else. So I, as a part of my process of healing, I actually, is Jason Bibby in the room? Yeah. yeah. Bibby, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Him and his darling wife, Kim, she's one of my besties. Um, during breaking my leg, he had had a busted up body from snowboarding or snow skiing and took on a nutritional cleanse. And that's what I took on for myself. And I had such a transformation, I ended up with a bikini model body doing a bikini photoshoot in, in um, Hawaii. But even better, my body was ready to fulfill my biggest dream yet to have my son. 
And faced with that experience, though, I was still doing the stripping away of everything that wasn't me, all the old programming, and everything I'd built up in my life with all those masks, and to protect me to be strong. <laughs> and uh, so the GFC caught up with me, properties went under. I go back, go back, go back. Um, and I felt the lean in, I had to fulfill my calling with coaching, spiritual transformation, and share a lot of the learnings that I had already had. So I did spiritual retreats before they became super popular and before COVID. And then I built a whole digital online pathway to take my clients through a full transformation step by step by step when they're ready. And I do a filtering system so I make sure that there is absolute resonance at each point. And at the beginning of this year, actually New Year's Eve, who, you know, um, I do what I do every New Year's Eve. Now, I'm sure many of you just thought going out and drinking lots. I actually sit down and dedicate that day to envision, plan, reset my values, my goals, and I pick a word. But this year, a word picked me for the first time ever. I'll tell you what that is in a minute. And it led me, because of that decision, all those points, it led my decisions to be really easy. So when Dale came to Perth for the AI Reimagine, I was front of the, of, of, of the seating and I knew immediately I was to join BB again. In, at that point, it activated me publishing again and I published not one, but three of my journal tools, which is my GGA method, which is the backbone of my spiritual transformation. So I thought I wanted to leave, immortalize it and have it available for everybody. And then when I came to BB, one of the important factors here, who's platinum? Isn't it awesome? Um, I absolutely love the round table day. And if you're not platinum, bit of a plug here, do everything you can to try and make it work. Because I met Lauren, and is Matt out there? Or Matt is also another shout out. But Lauren and Matt for the round table days, I actually went and sat with them and I knew when she was talking about awards, that was my next step. And so I hired Lauren for next year for, this, for going into the awards and she took my information and she said, oh my God, we're putting you through for this year. So four days ago, I was actually announced in New York City for the mentor or coach of the year for consumer services 2024 with gold. Thank you. It's huge. It's very humbling and I'm very grateful because it is a manifestation of a very intangible product, typically. Also, it became bronze in Maverick of the Year. And again, because of how I do things so completely differently, the judges have said you've just spun the coaching model upside down. And so I'm really grateful for that. Um, the word, by the way, was dazzling. Great fit, right? And so what next? Dale asked me what next? Well, I've created a wonderful lifestyle business with the intention to be able to spend the time with my son, who's now eight, and Bella, our toy poodle, who joined us two weeks ago. But we're going to be doing more travel together. I'm bringing him on board in my business. He's already learning some of the aspects. Um, I'm doing more publishing and going for more gold. Amazing. Thank you so much, Katie. Um, so again, each of these people could do like a lot more, but we're going to have to just uh, keep going.